And, and joining me on color commentary for this next fight is James Nesbitt. Great How are you doing, man? Oh, man, I'm good. Happy to see some good fights tonight. Yeah, I can't wait, bro. I can't wait. This one right here, uh, we got a couple of guys on the, uh, a couple of girls, in fact. A couple of girls coming in the ring. Um, yeah. This next bout going down at 128 pounds in the female amateur featherweight division. Coming to the blue corner, we have Julia Ramirez fighting out of AZ Dragons in Phoenix, Arizona. Fighting style of kickboxing and her fight prediction, she said, was to keep it a surprise. So I'm excited to see what she brings to the ring tonight. Yeah, man, it should be a good one. Uh, she's uh, being cornered tonight uh, by someone that's familiar to this to this promotion, Isaac. So should be a good one to see. Alexia's coming out now. And Alexia Taranji fighting out of Two Knuckle Sports in Surprise, Arizona. She has been training for two years, and she's just 12 years old. Her style, she describes as an Ikiga Kai, and the hardest moment in her fighting career thus far has been accepting that it isn't easy and it just gets harder. And I'll tell you, that's a good mentality to have as a young fighter. As a young fighter, you already know what's what's expected, you know? Yep. Get into the ring, it's going to be a dog fight each time. Her long-term goals fighting in fighting is become a UFC fighter, and hey, how cool would it be down the road, you know? Eight, ten years from now, we get to see her. We called her amateur debut in kickboxing. You know, she is fighting in the UFC. That's the best part about this, man. Being in this position, you see all these people um, coming into their own, you know, growing, perfecting their craft, and we get that opportunity to see it. But 100% agree. Both of them were really confident, really calm, ready to go. She's got that I so to the coaching, uh, to their trainers, you know, having them prepared, having them ready, confident in themselves. And I just gotta say, Alexia Taraji looking cool, calm, and collected in the red corner here. I'm very excited to see what these girls showcase in this match. Two knuckles. Sounds like they're deep in the crowd out there to yes, give her a sir. nice ovation. We got a good show from Two Knuckle Sports here tonight. Referee making his signals, and here we go. And here we go. Both and fighters meet in the middle. These girls are throwing off the back. Working out of the clinch, throwing good knees right there. And Julia, Julia's definitely trying to control a little bit more of the ring. Nice deep kick from Alexia. They're giving her just enough time to get in that space that's created with those loops. Absolutely. Julia's really staying in the pocket here, man. Even in the re the restart, she gets right back in there right away. Absolutely. And you know, if you run off three fight appearances, she has to be the more nervous fighter. She's gotten in here and looks very composed in this first round. Yeah, that goes a long way with this age group. It really does. Nice. Experience is key in fighting no matter what age group you're in, but it really, it really plays a part down here. And she is just pouring on the offense here is Julia, looking very aggressive throughout this first round and really putting Alexia on the back foot. I give it to Alexia in here, though. She's aiming in there, 
Looks like she's sticking to her game plan, even with Julia putting on all this pressure. Mm -hmm. And again, these, this is the debut for both these girls. So, you know, nerves are definitely there for both. And it just looks like Julia's having a bit more success in the to go in here. Referee just joined, warned Julia about holding on to her opponent after the knees. And that is the end of round one. Well, that was a pretty good action pack round one, if you ask me. Who do you see coming out on top of that first round? You know, uh, I, I want to say Julia controlled uh, the fight a little bit more. Uh, she controlled the ring. Uh, Lexi it was kind of put in positions that Julia wanted to be in. Um, she didn't really get to kind of uh, drive the fight the way she wanted it. Absolutely. And I really like the knees that Julia was throwing, you know. This is K1 right here, meaning punches, knees, and kicks are allowed. So it's good to diversify your weapons and use everything at your disposal. Definitely. And Julia's taking advantage of that. Um, I, Alexia is definitely uh, doing doing it as well. She's trying to get her knees in there. She's trying to get her punches in there. Kind of like what you said earlier, those loops, though, they're creating that opening. And Julia's quick. She's taking advantage of those openings, and she's not letting them pass her. And I apologize for any friends or family out there. We've been calling her Julia. She goes by Elena. So from here on out, we will be referring to her as Elena Ramirez. Thank you for that correction, yes. sir. And round number two, we are on the way. I'd really like to see Alexia throw some straight shots. There you go. That is what I'm talking about. That was a good start right there from Alexia. Now, she can keep that pressure, you know, throw those straight shots down the middle and get Grab Elena. Under again. Yep, she's got to be careful that. Pulling, pulling that head down. She can't pull that head down with the knee. There we go. She, the knee, she just can't pull the head into the knee. Yes. Really nice job there by Taranji by creating space that knee by pushing off and throwing punches. Taranji looking much more confident here in the second round. Yeah, she's come out. She's bringing the fight this time instead of waiting for it to come to her. And the ref has taken a point from Elena Ramirez for grabbing the back of the head. Now, you got to wonder, though, this is K-1 rules. If she's used to more of a Muay Thai style where Kenji is practiced consistently, that could be an interesting rule set for her to adjust to. So... I think what I heard the ref actually point her for was not oh! was not the head pull down. It was actually because she's putting her head down and bull rushing into their opponent. Okay, interesting. Almost leading with the head as a weapon. Right. Okay. He's trying to tell sense. her, stop pushing and, and use your hands. Okay. And while we were speaking, that was a beautiful leg kick knockdown there by Alexia. Really she's, was. Oh, she another right strong low kick. The ref looks like he wants to grab another point from the beautiful body work there from Alexia. Nice, Elena. Kranji's doing it as well. This is a really yeah. good round. This is a good round. He's leaning towards red. Oh, beautiful punches there from Elena Ramirez. Alexia is firing back. And there is the end of round two. That was a really good round that as was well. Very good comeback round there from Taranji. I think she really made the proper corrections in that in between rounds. Came out, stole those straight shots, creating space with her kicks and knees, and not quite uh, so much to the uh, the rule of Elena in that round. We're definitely going to go down to the wire on this one. I got it 1 1 right now. I think I agree. 1 1 is a very good scorecard for this fight. Uh, it was a, it was a, it was a uh, complete 360 there, yeah. or 180, I should say, yeah. <laughs> um, with with the way the rounds went. Um, that one was all Taranji. Uh, she was bringing the fight to her. Like I said, she wasn't waiting for Elena to bring the fight to her this time around. And something to consider is there was a point taken from Elena Ramirez in that round. So that could go down as a 10-8 round if the judges do score it for Taranji. So in all in all realists, uh, Elena Ramirez is probably going to need a finish to get a win or win this round to get a draw. So it's going to be a lot at stake here in this third round. This is a big round for both fighters here. Yes. And here we go, underway for round number three. So, oh, what a, what a one-two from Elena Ramirez. But Taranji was able to hold through it. She held in there and kept going the offense. But that is a great start for Elena. 
And they just keep pushing, applying that pressure. This is a lot what we've seen in round one. And you see both back against those ropes. Both ladies are doing a better job not holding on to each other. They're leading with offense instead of trying to clinch. So, yes. oh, hammer and low kick. Oh, these two ladies are going at it. This is a great fight. What a fight. Oh, the heart. I would like to see Taranji keep her head up when she's posting those clinches so she doesn't catch a knee. She's working the body so well. I think she's finding herself looking down, trying to get low, but really she needs to bend at the knees to throw those body shots as opposed to the waist. Get some more torque in there. Exactly. And Taranji is looking absolutely exhausted she here. Got kicked in the, she got kicked in the quad. Oh. And here we go. It is coming down to it here. Both ways, throwing in the pocket. Elena's taking this one. And it seems that Elena knows she is It looks like Taranji's dealing with a, camp, a cramp. Oh, oh, and she is dumped out of the ground. Both the fighters are exhausted, 100%. Second to recover for both fighters. Referee had a talk with Elena again. I don't know what he's seeing. It has to be the push. I believe because this is K1 rules, the clinch is limited to a very, very limited amount of time. And when both girls hold on. Correct. You're supposed to, you can grab and do a movement, but you're supposed to let go. And Elena Ramirez laying on the shots here at the end of round three. What a contest, and down to a knee goes Alexia Taranji, and that will end this contest. What a battle between so, these two young ladies. So we seen Elena, I mean, we seen Taranji go to the ground a couple of times in that. Would you count any one of those not, as a knockdown? I think that last one might have been. The ref did not signal for an eight count, so even if it may have been, it should not be counted on each other's scorecards because the ref has to signal for there being eight counts, which be counted as a knockdown in the scoring. So I believe she got away with a couple right there, but as you pointed out, that last one was very close to being called a knockdown. Very close. I mean, if she doesn't have that, I don't know, man. This Either, either that last round gave her a draw, or I think Taranji might have been able to pull it out with that uh, that point taken away. That's going to be a big part of this uh, score. We're going to see some very interesting scorecards here in just a moment. And once again, hats off to both these ladies, Elena Ramirez and Alexia Taranji, for putting on a tremendous fight this evening in our third bout of the evening. Yeah, this was a, a, a fast-paced, hard-hitting brawl. These two girls got in here and left it on the line. And this fight was brought to you by Happy Go Henna. They're here with us in the venue tonight, providing tremendous body art, face paints, and glitters. So make sure to check them out. And thank you again for sponsoring our event. If here you're in the building, make sure to stop by, bring your kids by, and get their faces painted. Yes, sir. And here is Ryan the Harold Hallman with the official decision. Please develop the decision. Yes. You know, that was a very close fight. A lot of those rounds could have gone either way. But I think the point taken in the second round and, you know, you know, just Alexia in the second round was really what drove her to that victory. So, you know, like I said, hats off to both ladies.